Hey everybody, today I'm going to talk with you about treatment plans. What are they and how do we put them together? So like I said, today I'm going to talk with you about treatment plans. Now some of you may not even know what that means. Now a treatment plan is something that you will put together with your therapist and it's part of the whole plan for your treatment, how we get you from point A to point B, your main goal. Now, at the beginning, when you first come into therapy, your therapist will ask you, what brought you here today? If I get asked that one more time when I go into the therapist's office, when I had to switch therapists, what brings you in here today? But what they're really asking is, what's your main goal? What's going on in your life that you're struggling with and how can I help you? That's really what they're asking. And so from the beginning, we're trying to figure out what your main goal is. If we could help you fix one thing, lickety split, what would it be? Now we put that at the bottom of this piece of paper. Imagine this is a piece of paper, your treatment plan. At the bottom goes your main goal, why, why you're here, what I can help you with. And we're gonna work backwards from there so we can get you there, got it? Now some therapists may tell you that they're working on a treatment plan. Some may not talk about it. It might be something they do, you know, after hours. I do a lot of work on them after hours, but I do also mention it to some of my patients as we kind of walk through it. So just so you know, they may say something, they may not. Every therapist is different. So once we get your main goal, next comes what I call the assessment period. Now that is when we may make diagnoses based on what struggles you have or things that you've mentioned and brought up or maybe diagnoses that we already got from a previous therapist. All of this kind of depends on your process, where you're at. We may already have a bunch of information coming in or we may work with you and try to figure out where you're at and what you're struggling with. We're gonna ask you a lot of questions. This is when we ask maybe, are you in school? How's school going? How's work going? Are you in a relationship? How old is your brother? How old is your sister? Do you, how old are your parents? Your parents together, are they separate? all these questions about, about you, about what's going on with you. We may also ask about your history, how you were raised and how long your parents have been divorced or all sorts of things like that to find out who you are and where you are now. And that really is what I call kind of the meat of the treatment plan is when we're trying to assess where you are and during that time we're gonna give you some homework or some things to try based on that information. Those kind of things that I put in workbooks, the, little trial and error things that I talk about so that you can go out in the week between our sessions, give them a go, and then let me know, report back what worked and what didn't work. Do you follow so far? So we've taken your main goal, we put that down at the bottom of our, our treatment plan, we're assessing you, possibly diagnosing you, taking your history, and then we're giving you some homework and work to do in between. Now this can take a long time. A lot of times the process of trial and error with different plans and, and trials of things that we think may work like talking back to that negative voice or getting out of the house two days a week or maybe calling that friend that you haven't connected with. It could be a bunch of different things. It can take us a while to get through them, right? This didn't happen overnight. We can't fix it overnight. But know that your therapist is spending time in the evening, probably right after your sessions or at the end of the day, going through this, trying to think of new things, trying to research what's working for other people, trying to put together maybe some journal topics for you to get you from where you are now to your main goal. And I'm gonna check my notes, make sure I didn't forget anything. Oh, and the main goal of a therapist, my main goal for every client is that at the end, they don't have to be in therapy anymore. They can fly free. But that being said, I always have an open door policy. But my whole goal of this treatment plan is to get you working on your own, using your own tools. You have your own toolbox of all the things that have worked that we've done, talked about in therapy and done in therapy together. And you're gonna use them on your own. And so you feel good being out on your own, using your tools, and you may not have to check in with me every week and maybe every other week for a while. And then soon enough, you're thinking, I don't think I need to be in therapy but then maybe you need to come back for a tune-up. And one of the most important things I want all of you to hear right now is that coming back to therapy does not mean you failed. There's no shame involved in it. It's not something that's embarrassing. To be truthful, from the therapist standpoint, it's exciting. Do you know what that means? That means that you've worked so hard in our time together that you've gained such insight that you recognize when you're slipping and you get back into therapy. You preemptively strike. We nip it in the bud. 
We stop it from getting worse, right? That's really hard to do. And I am always so proud of my patients who have left and then come back that they were able to do that because it's a process, right? We all slip up sometimes. We may need a little booster session to keep us going. That's how life is. Things get stressful sometimes and we need a little extra support and there's no shame in that. So whatever level or whatever stage of your treatment plan you're in, keep working with your therapist. And I cannot encourage you enough to be as honest as you can because your honesty around the assessments and what tools work really end up helping you the most because when you leave therapy, I want you to have a toolbox full of things that actually work for you and ones that you will actually use. So if something's not working, speak up. If you need to try something else, let them know because we're here to help you, right? And I hope that just sheds a little light on what therapists do behind the scenes or after sessions because I mean, some people wonder, they'll come in my office, so what do, ther what do you actually do? And that's really what I actually do. I spend a lot of time on treatment plans. And so hopefully now you can kind of understand why we have different tools each week and why we challenge you to do something different. And it's kind of our process, right? So keep working with me, keep checking back as we work as a team towards a healthy mind and a healthy body. I was just thinking a treatment plan is really like a roadmap to get us from where we are now to where we really want to be. It just helps kind of structure that, you know? And as always, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I put out videos five days a week and you don't want to miss them. And what would really help our community is if you click the share link below and put that link on your favorite social media site. And I would love to see all of you on katiemorton.com, so don't forget to check it out. I'll see you soon. Bye! Okay. Then the next week we come through, see how you did. I don't want you to be...